Welcome back to the Gun Dungeon, guys. Got a good video for you today. We're gonna be putting the 30 Super Carry, the 357 Sig, 9 millimeter, 45 ACP, and 40 Smith & Wesson, all head to head, all using Federal HST ammunition. For the 30 Super Carry, we have this 100 grain HST, we have the 124 grain plus P 9 millimeter. We have the 165 grain 40. We have the 230 grain HST 45 ACP and the 125 grain uh, 357 SIG. If you noticed in the intro, you saw four guns on the table and five rounds. That's because I'm gonna be swapping out this barrel for the 357 SIG for one, and I'm gonna be swapping that out in this 40 shield. This is all going to be short barrels, so we're gonna be using the shield for the 40 and the 357 SIG, the Beretta Nano for the short barrel nine millimeter, the XDS for the 45 ACP, and then the Shield Plus 30 Super Carry. So, I am not going to put denim on this block, not gonna run a chronograph. I have all of that information captured on this channel. You'll have to go back and find those videos. All of these rounds have been tested individually with several shots in the block using denim and a chronograph and multiple barrel links for most cases. So if you wanna see that information, you'll have to go back and find the videos on that. But today it's gonna to be one shot each into bear jail, head to head, see how they do against each other and go from there. We have jail block Jerry, ready to ride the block for you all. Hopefully he gets a little action today. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get set up. I'm gonna shoot them from what I consider smallest to largest. I'm gonna start with the 30 super carry, then go nine millimeter, 357 SIG, 40, 45 ACP. So that's the order that I'm gonna go in and we're gonna start right now. Okay, so I said one shot each. We're actually gonna do another 30 super carry because of my piss poor shot placement. That one went out of the block. We'll take a look at that wound track once we shoot another one and catch it. This is not starting off well for me. Two good looking wound tracks that both shot out the same spot of the block. I'm gonna have to do better. One more from the 30 Super Carry. Well, you're getting a good look at what 30 Super Carry can do because all three of those wound tracks are from 30 Super Carry. Top one is the latest one that we caught and there sits our bullet in the junk catch block in the rear. Right at about 17 three quarter inches of penetration. We will dig all these bullets out at the end and compare. Next up, nine millimeter. This whole one shot each thing is not working out well for me. It's that bottom wound track that you can barely see because I think that it glanced the table. And there sets our bullet, but I don't think that's a fair representation of the nine because I do believe the table interfered. So I'm gonna put another shot in here from nine and then we'll go from there. Huh? 
All right, it is going to be this track right here. That is your nine millimeter. Looks pretty good. Very similar to what we already had. There are both bullets right there. So maybe that first shot wasn't interfered with too much. Both of these bullets are setting within a half inch of each other, between 13 and a half, well, about an inch of each other. Looks like about 13 and a half, 13, three quarter, the leading edge of the rear one, and about 14 and a three eighths to the front. So pretty good penetration. Let's go ahead and go to 357 SIG. This wound track on top, the best view to see it, that's the 357 SIG. And I don't even need my tape measure because there it sets right in the edge of these blocks. It's a 16 inch block. Take a little look here, top wound track, 357 SIG. That looks to have maybe done a little bit more than the other, the 9 and the 30 Super Carry. I'll let you all tell me in the comments what you think. There she sets. 16 inches of penetration. Let's try 40. All right, this wound track right here. Starting to get a little cloudy in here. But that track right there is our 40, 357 SIG right above it. You can see it coming down. See it a little bit better right here. Coming down, there sets our bullet right there with the butt towards us. That is coming in right at 15 inches, the leading edge of that bullet. So not as much penetration as the 357 SIG. Uh, not as much as the 30 Super Carry. Looks to be right about on par with the nines though, maybe just a fuzz more. One more guys, let's try the 45. This may be the best view. It's this track right here closest to us. May see it a little better right there. It's getting really, really cloudy, but honestly, guys, all of these wound tracks look very, very similar. But that doesn't. That looks absolutely wicked. Just look how much bigger it is expanded in there compared to these other bullets. We got right at 12 and three quarter inches of penetration. You can see it there. But man, look at that thing compared to the nines right here. <laughs> we will be digging these out and taking a closer look, like I said, but less penetration, more expansion. Then we got nine millimeters coming in with penetration right behind it, 40, little bit better than the nine on penetration, but not much. I'm gonna call them equal. 357 SIG, going the full 16, and 30 Super Carry, digging deep. Let's take a look at these bullets. All right, well we have 30 Super Carry. This was that first nine millimeter, and you can see it does have a little bit of a flattened jacket there on this side, so I believe the table did interfere with it just a little. That is our second nine millimeter. 357 SIG, 40 and 45. So just my opinion, these are all fairly equal on expansion. 40, of course, gonna have a little bit more. Uh, these is basically what you want on penetration because I think the wound tracks were great. This penetrated more. This right here is gonna give you a little bit more expansion, but guys, that is no joke. If you can live with the 12 and a half, 12 and three quarter inch penetration, that is no joke. That is quite a bit more width than any of the others, in my opinion. And really, the wound tracks all look the same, surprisingly. The sun came out and the shadows get me now. 
but the wound tracks surprisingly all looked really really similar in my opinion it was just what do you want on expansion and penetration guys there you have it all of them put head to head using hst you all may disagree but i think the wound tracks all look really similar and i'm kind of surprised that the 30 super carry performed the way that it did compared to the others because it is a 32 caliber bullet the smallest bullet on the table but like i said the wound tracks all look the same in it dug deeper the 40 smith and wesson performed as i expected it the nine performed as i expected it 357 sig was a souped up nine millimeter that done the same type of damage same type of expansion just went deeper and that big old fat 45 just flat turned into an ashtray inside the jail here but that trade-off was that it did penetrate quite a bit less than the others but that's what you're going to get out of short barrels using hst in jail I had some screw-ups on the shooting shot placement but i think it turned out all right let me know what you guys think in the comments and until next time stay tuned